Welcome to a video from digitallifestyle.com Once again I'm going back in time looking at old versions of Windows and today I'm looking at something familiar to many people not perhaps under the name of Windows Whistler This is Windows Whistler one of the Windows Whistlers Windows Whistler was the development name of the code name of Windows XP which is why you think this might look familiar but not the final version you've seen what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the start though and look at the early versions. This is a middle, sort of towards the end development version of, of Whistler XP. And you see, this is not how it looked in the final versions. And I've got a little more to tell you on that one. But let's go back first and have a look at the first version of Windows Whistler, the pre-beta. So here, I'm starting, here is the pre-beta. So Windows Whistler was the... Um, Windows XP was the first consumer version of Windows that was 32-bit, um, so built on Windows NT and not based off DOS like Windows 98 or Windows 95 or Windows ME were. On a previous video I looked at uh, Neptune, which was a cancelled version that would have been the first sort of modern version of Windows for consumers, but um, that was cancelled, you can see that on our YouTube channel. So here we are looking at build 2211 and if you've ever used Windows 2000 you'll notice this looks very much like Windows 2000. Um, I'm using Hyper-V by the way here to show these off. I know some people have said you better use VirtualBox or something else but I use Hyper-V for other stuff so I wanted to continue with that. So I'm going to look at a few different builds and uh, here we are on the first pre-built pre, -built, pre um, beta build and like I said it looks very much like Windows Professional it even says, still says Windows Professional in some places and if we have a look here it's still saying Windows Professional no mention of Whistler but oh, you can see here that it's saying it's Windows 2001 and not Windows 2000 and this was compiled um, this was compiled March 2000 you see the version of Internet Exploring here is IE 5.5, so not IE 6 that's shipped with uh, Windows XP. And it's actually 5.6, the version, with the branding of 5.5. I don't think 5.6 ever shipped a, a working system. It's still got some of the carryovers like Active Desktop. Uh, Active Desktop was where you could show web content kind of without a border and it would synchronize and you could use them offline and kind of as a desktop based off a website. Seemed a good idea at the time, Microsoft scrapped that. So it was in Neptune, but it was not in uh, in XP. So it's, at this point, you can see it's still in there. There are a few changes from XP. If I go into Control Panel, they've changed slightly the Control Panel, um, this idea of sort of frequently used tasks, um, and groups of tasks, that kind of thing that you see in XP. So that's on there. The setup, I've not recorded that, but that was just the same as, as Windows 2000 as well. So here you can see the we're in the Windows 2000 stage. Now let's go and have a look at another build. Okay, so now let's go onto this. So now let's have a look at this. You notice a different signing screen. This um, is a slightly later build. This, let's have a look. So this is 2276. And this is from September 2000 and kind of looks a bit like a hybrid of the Windows 2000 and Windows XP. I couldn't get the drivers running in full color mode on this build. I did on some of the builds, but not on this build. So that's why it looks like kind of this slightly weird color. But you can see this kind of hybrid. So the, the start menu doesn't look like the Windows 2000 start menu anymore. And we've got the more programs, which is a little bit like XP worked. We've got, if we go to control panel, you see we've got the category based control panel as well. Still with the sort of the theme of Windows 2000. There's a new version of Windows Media Player in there. I won't double click that now. We'll do that when we finish because I'll show you what that does. Um, let's have a look at the Internet Explorer version. I think we're still running 5.6 on here. Incidentally, there's no activation in these builds yet. So we, in uh, later versions, of, or in, in Windows XP, you have to activate it. You, that, that code isn't built into here yet. So 
So here we see it's still running 5.6, but the branding has changed slightly, the about screen has changed slightly. We've still got active desktop. You see, we can have the windows, what's called professional. This won't apply because of this color set. So I think that changed it to more the XP style theme, but that won't work on, on here at the moment. We'll look at that on another build. But you can see here we've got going for more of the the XP style, but still the icons and everything look very much like Windows 2000. Now let's move forward now again. So here we are now on uh, 2446, and you can see it looks very much like Windows XP now uh, with the Lunar theme, which was the name of this theme. The active Desktop's gone. See, so we've got the Whistler theme on there now. We go to appearance, we can have Whistler style, or we can have classic, which is the, the Windows 2000 style. And the colours, still only one set of colours on there at the moment, so we can't pick the green theme or some of the other themes on there. So you can see this looks more like um, the, the, the version of XP we see. What I didn't show you, which I said I promised to show, was a new version of Windows Media Player, so I'll fire it up on here instead. On the other one, it did have a tendency to blue screen the operating system. So you can actually choose different what they call skins on this. So this is the default one, but you can see here these are all the ones you could choose from. So the one that was in the previous builds would have been the probably called Classic, which was that one. But now we've got all these different types of one that you could have, and it was very much a thing then to have skins. I think you can even download them. There you go. So that was something that was new in XP. You can see if I go to control panel, the more familiar looking control panel there, it looks very much like XP as, as you'd expect, because it is. And I think we've even got IE6 in there now as well. We have a browser that was to hang around forever. Now, so, but what I wanted to show you, I actually showed you at the beginning was this other build which is 2491 which is just slightly later than the, the other the other build I was showing you here and you notice this has a completely different theme installed on here called watercolor and I can switch to the default watercolor so this is the default theme which does have a much more XP theme I actually think this looks better than the shipped XP theme um, now apparently the story behind this is that this one here called visual uh, sample test this theme was put in to throw people off the scent of the the final theme the, the green one that we're, we're all familiar now with the uh, XP look and feel and this was designed to kind of throw people off the scent slightly uh, by making this theme that wouldn't be the one that was introduced so if it was leaked or it was in the betas then this is what people, what people would think the theme is whether that's true or not I'm not sure but that's what I read when I was researching these builds uh, I actually quite like this one I prefer the other one uh, but actually there's actually a few different ones let me show you so you could choose these different colour schemes like Blue Lagoon with this weird kind of look on it so you had this like jelly button start menu down here, a start button down here. Everything else looks pretty much the same. It's the same version of of IE. Uh, we don't want to set up AOL or anything like that. Yeah, because we use a phone line. <laughs> there you go. So we're using IE6 on here. Also, the other thing that this had was the the little wizard that guides you through it had an actual literal wizard in it, a little animated bit like Cliff People, a wizard called Merlin. But anyway, these are the themes, and I'm, well, I'm not that much of a fan of that one. I actually think this one looks quite good, actually. I quite like that one, and you could say you could have a different uh, colour schemes, although it's lost the green one on there now. I just quite like that one. Let's say we can load the default. I also, as well, you can tell the drivers have changed because I've no problems running this in the higher color mode. So they've they've just updated the drivers as they 
as they go along. So there you go, the mongoose effect of Windows 10, uh, <laughs> Windows XP. I'm kind of glad they didn't ship with this one, although it's interesting to see the, the, the various effects, and I quite like the watercolour background on there. So that was an inter so a later build, but not the one, that, the, not the UI that we know and love, I guess, from Windows XP, which you can which you can see there. So you can see through these videos as, we, as they've gone through, they've gone from Windows 2000 to Windows XP and you can see the journey that Microsoft made. I just thought it would be a nice little video to show you the, the highlights of this thing. The After XP was uh, Vista but during that time there was also a cancelled operating system called Windows Longhorn uh, which I've done a separate video on that so you can see the UI journey that made and what was in there that never made it into Vista and uh, some of the things did so make sure you check out that you can also check out the Neptune which is a cancelled version of Windows and uh, I've also done a video on how I'm using Hyper-V to do all these thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one